Okay. That can only mean one thing, folks. Let's get this show underway. The juniors, okay, now I'll tell you about the juniors. These guys are our future. These guys are organized. They are into it. When you're watching, okay, Matt's going to do a little drive-by here. So watch these boards over here. Yeah, it's going. Anyways, these juniors, from what you guys may see, it may seem like they're not going that fast. For these guys, they feel like they're going 290 miles an hour, all right? Most of them got GoPros. They take this very seriously. They're lit up. All right, Isabella Vandeme in crisis. Little 84 Honda Odyssey. Like I say, folks, it may not seem fast from the outside, but from the inside, she's flying. Yellow. Green, and she's gone. An eight four two one. Okay, this is called this little machine is called Blackberry. This kid's name is Daxon. This is a two thousand a TDC Motorsports five point five horsepower machine. These guys hail out of Grovedale, Alberta. I don't know how old Daxon is, but I bet you he can't be older than four or five, folks. And he's off. He's four years old. He's four years old, folks. And like I say, he'll be back at the campsite. Oh, yeah, man, I just flew through that thing. I just flew. Yeah. Mary Stevens, she's a regular. Been racing for three years. She wants to thank Davies Off-Road Racing, 100 Mile Horsepower Ranch, and Tri-City Mechanical for their sponsorship help. So you can see three number plates on that buggy. Very common, they, well, these guys will make a pass, turn it around, hot lap it, jump out, let their buddy, sister, sibling, cousin, friend, whoever, take a pass. They got three plates on that one, so you'll be seeing it back, that little Razor 200. Avery Stevens, that time to beat so far is an eight, an eight four. It's gonna be. Oh, a 9-3. Fastest so far, a 9-3. Look at the little paddle tires on the back of this. There's the horn. That's Brookie Strell and Overstrell. That's your dad, Steve Strell. That's a miniaturized version of his big car back there. They actually made this out of the old sheet metal after he wiped it out in Saskatchewan. Let's see what Brookie Strell's got. She's got that cool Hoops of Hazard horn. A 9-1. Rookie wants to thank Davey, Blake, Ronnie, Johnny, Matthew, Mom, and Scarlett for all the help. They hail an admission. Now we've got Wesley Vanderby in fire tires. It's that same Honda 84, 84 Odyssey. There it goes. Oh, yeah, he picked up a gear there. An 8-3. There's the new fast time. Now we've got J6 Cheyenne Davies. This is Leanna and Dave's daughter. A 9-7-2-2. So now we got Connor Husing. Again, you'll see the little zoom zoom, this Razor doing hot laps. Again, they want to thank Davies Off-Road Racing, 100 Mile Horsepower Ranch, and Tri-City Mechanical. Connor Husing, first year racer. He was racing in 100 Mile House a few weeks ago. And he's off. What was, uh, what was the first time in that Razor? Uh oh, uh, I don't think he's doing that on purpose, folks. Just remember, this is, who, this is Dad's fault. Just remember that. Yeah, I'm no, uh, I'm no razor tuning expert, but I'm gonna say that's not quite running right. Twenty-six point six nine six. Kaylee Hopkins, K Hop, Pearl the brother, B Hop. 
Brian Hopkins used to run this, sponsored by Hopkins Roofing. Wants to thank mom and dad and her brother for, she wants to thank her big brother for making that machine. This is Kaylee Hopkins in the farm buggy. Her brother won this class a couple years ago in this very machine. A seven. A seven, two, three, one. That's that's the fastest time. We're not really sure how it's going to go. These guys from Alberta thought we'd just let them go. It's called Blue Dragon. On a St. Albert, Alberta. We'll see what this thing does in the dirt. Not bad. It's, I think it's the fastest time. A 7097. All right, Kaylin, let's see if you can get it running better. Than it wasn't running that good in the last pass. Right, a 26. I'm not going to say, folks, it may not seem that exciting from where we're sitting, but to these juniors, it's a big deal. And it's a big deal to us to get these kids hooked on motorsport at a young age. It's running good now. A seven, a eight, six, oh, six. Good job. Now we've got Logan Nicholson. Again, out of Grovedale, Alberta. They want to thank BG Fabrication and Mark for all the help. Running the Blackberry. You saw Daxon go earlier. How old is this guy? Five. So Logan was four. Or no, Logan's five. Daxon was four. Logan's five. Get him going young. Oh, it's a little girl, Logan. Oh, so all she cares about is beating Daxon. Uh -oh. Okay, I don't know if you guys caught that. There's a little issue with the clock. We'll get Emmanuel back up on this second. It was uh, probably about an eight something. Okay, this is Kinsley Vanderbay in fire tires. There it goes. Oh, starting to pick up. Yeah, it was pedaling. It was pedaling it. Like I say, it feels a lot faster to them than it probably appears. 11, 6, 8, 5 for Kindersley. Good job, buddy. Okay, Leland Davies. This is Leland. This is uh, Leanna and Dave's son, Leland Davies, in the Mud Runner to Razor Polaris. Oh, it's going pretty good. Got it going good. So not only is Leland racing the rest of the class, he's also racing his sister Cheyenne. A 9022 for Leland. Special thanks to dad and mom. But it says fuel type, and she wrote down unicorn poop. All right? It's a two stroke, it runs on blood, sweat, and tears mixed with hopes and dreams. That's what she wrote. There's Chris Stevens doing his best Colin White impersonation. All right, Emily White and Orange Peels. Let's see if she can get, get a good one here for you folks on unicorn poop. Mixed with hopes and dreams. Oh yeah, she's flying. She's got that thing going. Yeah, she does. A 6703. That is the fastest pass of that class. Okay, so Emily ran a 67. Can her sister Abigail her now she filled her own sheet out. It says it's a 252 stroke with a bunch of secrets. That's what it says here, folks. Fuel type, nitromethane. I believe she's just saying that. She's got crazy cut tires. Wants to thank Pioneer Truck and Trailer, Lorco, Walco, and of course, Mom and Dad put up with all her crap, which is, is what it says on the sheet, folks. Now, Abigail's got her work cut out for her. She's got to beat a 6'7". Your sister did a 6'7", Abby. 
pretty, pretty respectable. Chris is going to have some guns by the end of this weekend. It's running. It's trying to run, folks. It is trying to run. And of course, after the junior class, you can see him sitting there. Old Stevie Strell. It will be a whole different ball game from the juniors when that monster lights up. Folks, you can basically count on a 200-foot-long wheelie on the wheelie bar. We got to we gotta get a proper green light, though. No running start. Okay, now, this is this is gonna count. And like I say, they'll get this thing fixed. They'll get it fixed later on, and this might be a keeper. A slow time is better than no time. There's Uncle with the uh, pull cord. Hey, go! You're off. Or Grandpa, I mean, called him Uncle. Oh, you dropped something. Drop some more stuff. A 20. You know what? That's not the slowest time, weirdly. A 20.279 in a thrilling, wheel-standing, fire-breathing, dirt-slinging pass by Abby Gabriel White. Good job, Abby, in the Rad Ripper. Roddy in the back, they got it. They don't they don't run batteries because batteries weigh something. That's his parachute safety he's pulling the parachute pin out. So he's got a chute on it. They got a starter motor mounted to the front of the crank or front of the uh, blower pulley. You'll see Blake start it up. Runs on a battery pack off the back of the quad. Batteries are heavy. Weight is the enemy. All right, magneto ignition, so there's no need to carry batteries. Electronics, you, you, you can carry a small alarm battery for the onboard electronics. But these things start on like 36 volts. There's no point carrying three heavy car batteries around. You don't need to. So the starter up. He'll pull it, unplug it there. Take the starter motor out. There's the starter motor. Just and folks, cover your ears and get ready. Stevie Strell. about that, eh? A two! Two, one, five for Stevie Strell, a number to beat! For Byron Connell, calls this thing Geronimo, the Frog Stomper. 72 Austin Mini. Remember, looking for a three, nine! 3-9 out of the Byron. All right, clearly that wasn't running right. A 4-5, it would have been a 3-9. There it is right there. Gavin McDonald's old machine. All resurrected, look good. Michael Vandermeer wants to thank Albie and Tyre, Galen Vandermeer, Gavin McDonald, Tim Kennedy, Jack Springer, Navco Transmissions. Special thanks to Galen Vanderby. So he's running a big block 454, nine inch in the back, Data 44 in the front, and on nitrous.
He says next year, plans for next year include a 632 big block alcohol injected with nitrous. Michael Vandermeer, the driver, over the limit, folks. It's his first time out in this car. A little bit experimental. It's always nerve wracking when you make your first pass at a new machine, folks. He got some RPM right at the end. Obviously, he's got to get a little more RPM out of that thing. Got to get the thing screaming a little worse. He hails out of Merritt, British Columbia, the lower neck. Does Jack Manu run a blown alcohol paddle car? 555 cubic inch on methanol. He's got a tall order. It's a 2.2 is what Stevie Strell laid down. Jack's got a lot of work, and he's going to beat a 2-2, but you know what? He's just the guy to do it. And he's got the equipment. Let's see what the Bandito has for you here, folks. Jack Manu with the Bandit. Nice looking machine. Check out the chrome roll cage, nice. Six, straight down the gut for El Bandito. All right, here's Jen. Now, normally she doesn't run in this class, but she's got herself up, got her hands on a set of paddle tires, as you can see on the back there. Just so you know, paddle, if whatever class you run, you're only required to have the main drive tires as that class of tire. She's got some cut, I don't know, cut 36s on the front, it looks like. Now what happened there folks is she just went a little far forward and she chipped the clock. The clock is 12 inches from the staging light. And now we're off. Yeah, it did uh, start to work. These guys are here for every pass. Graham, Wendy, Brandon, Matt, Lee to AJ, we're here for every pass. Well, thanks to our volunteers. In the meantime, this is Dougie Jewel, the Jewel Digger, and a 49 Chevy. Want to thank Cindy and the kids, Graham Hawkins and Wendy from Mudhawk Motorsports, Chris, Ellie, Ian. This is the Jewel Digger. It's supposed to be going against Civic Duty. He should be going side by side with Mr. Brewster in civic duty. Oh, no, Brandon sees them. They're, they're calling him over. Here he comes. Check that out, folks. 
The Candy Alpha Red Honda Civic. Where else do you see that but the mud races? Ian Brewster in Civic Duty. Ian Hales on a... I believe Ian Hales on a Mission BC. He wants to thank Fraser Valley Machine and KNS Plumbing. This is going to be a fast race, folks. Both these guys are fast. Both these, this is going to be a really good, this is, might be one of the best races of the day right here, coming at you right now. Civic Duty. The Candy Apple Red Honda Civic. The Jewel Digger 1949 Chevy with the Patina. I'll tell you more about that later. You ready, folks? Side by side, Mud Race in Action coming at you right about now. All right, I totally lied. A 3-8, nice job by Civic Duty. A 3-8-4-9, now what happened to Doug? I don't know what happened, but there's a deal. We tell the drivers at the driver's meeting, if you have a problem like he just had, like a stall or a burp or a fart or a brain fart, and you go less than 10 feet, you get a retry. So I don't know what happened, but he's gonna get a retry. So it's not side by side. In the end, you are racing the clock after all. A 3-8 was what uh, Ian Brewster ran a CBB to 3-8. A 4-5. Austin was the fastest guy at 100 mile. He was the fastest, that's not Austin. That is Filthy Heaven, that's Paul Stafford. 79 Toyota out of Innisfail, Alberta. This is a BC Alberta challenge, folks. This is Filthy Habit, big block, 638 cubic inch motor. Those guys love the big cubes in Alberta. This is Paul Stafford. Now he should be, we should be seeing Austin Brian come around the corner here. We gotta get this side by side stuff going here, folks. Hold on, Brad, just hold him up for a sec, hold him up. We, here comes Austin Brian. there he is, the boy wonder. <laughs> Out of Long Butte, British Columbia. This is a BC Alberta challenge, folks. He has the entire weight of the province of BC on his shoulders. Let's put a house again for the BC boy. Anybody here from Alberta? This is your chance. We got a couple of old Toyotas going at it here, folks. Austin Brianna, the boy wonder from British Columbia. Paul Stafford from Alberta. We're ready to go side by side action coming at you this time. I'm not lying. Austin Brianna with a three, two, getting it done. Right about now, Austin's like, yeah, take that, Alberta. Not sure what happened to Paul Stafford. The sad part is he went over 10 feet, so that's going to be his pass. Which is probably, in his mind right now, the least of his concerns. He's probably uh, used up all the regular swear words and is now making up his own swear words in there. In Ramrod. Look at that thing. That thing's got a little gasoline blower, a little 471 on it. We actually had a, uh, we had a magazine we did a while ago, and he was on the cover at this race. Derek Larson and Ramrod. Eric Vanderbay. It just pickled. Uh-oh, I don't know what happened. It's going to be a solo pass. A 5 2 seven, eight. He was trying to turn left the whole time, it looked like. Just how we talked about earlier, folks. Everything runs perfect until you get to the starting line. Graham Hawkins. One more time for me, buddy, with the flag. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. 
All right, I'm going to tell you for a fact that was not the plan. The girls up here are saying it's my fault. It's not my fault. I jinxed them. Well, clearly, clearly there's a lot of fuel going in there. And when you got a lot of fuel going in, you need a lot of ignition going in. Or going on, I guess. Uh, you know, nitrous. You guys know how nitrous works. It's not just the nitrous. Nitrous oxide isn't just, it's, it's not even a fuel. What I would do if I was Eric is I would run it without nitrous. I'd just try to get a pass here. Again, without the nitrous. Did you see I, that one extinguisher? We've modified some of these extinguishers. That curl one there is you take the valving out of it, you put a uh, basically an air chuck on it. We fill them half full of water and then half full of compressed air, and then we use it as a water squirter to clean our beams off and stuff. So Brad has started with the water squirter, which uh, didn't put the fire out. So everyone knows fuel fires can't be put out with water. You need the powder to remove the oxygen. Duh! He's uh, old F-179, F-150, 3070s boggers. He should be going against Black and Blue Knights, Red A Sergeant. I don't see Black and Blue Knights, I don't see Renee. But again, I have strategically parked this trailer where I can't see anybody. There she is. Renee Sargent wants to thank Wirecrosser, top of the day, toe of the day, Hillbilly Mud Racing Team, Extreme Machines, Ants, Uncles, Albion Tire, Clay Stern, Tanya Mackin. Special thanks to the Hopkins family and Mike and Bruce. She wants to thank them all. This is Renee. She's a young lady driver, folks. Lady driver going against the veterans. Very close, a 6095 for Renee and a 6222. Two more coming at you. We've got Ivan Bushell. There he is, the flipping crappinator. Ivan's Imports on Alumbi, Gilbert's Parts, also on Alumbi. Lens Blower Service are his sponsors. Wants to thank Brandon, Jen, and the whole shop crew. This, you gotta know Ivan. He calls himself Ivan the Terrible and the flipping crappinator. He goes against all mud racing logic. He He's short wheelbase, super microscopic. He's got a 2.5 liter turbocharged motor in his thing on nitrous, all Subaru. He's a Subaru, Ivan is a Subaru guru. He is a Subaru mechanic. He has customers from all over Canada. They send their cars to Vernon because he knows everything about Subarus. This is all Subaru power, folks. He hails out of Lundy, BC. Okay, it's gonna be a solo pass. I'm not sure where Jen joined. Jen joined, is she coming? All right, hang on, here she comes. Now she ran paddles, right? So she had, and didn't run very good. So she had to change her back tires and get it running better. So we'll see what she's done here, Jen. This is Jen joint, double classing. She's got a 383 stoke, Stoker small block in here. Now, like I say, she ran paddles. It didn't run very well. It wasn't really the paddles' fault. Well, let's see what she's got for us now, folks. Nice close race. A 5808 for Ivan the Terrible and a little mini Subaru and a 6519. This thing is going to surprise you, folks. 
Now, I'm not trying to jinx them, but I'm telling you, this is going to surprise This is a fast, fast little machine. And he drives it. And you, you got to love that. you got to love the velocity stacks. Uh, who doesn't like velocity stacks? All right, Richard gets aside. Give the judge. What did I tell you? No jinx in here. A 3914 for Richard Kessai. Good job. Check out the rear steer on Dave Davies. That's Dave Davies in Outlaw. Got a 614 cubic inch motor with a blower. Power glide, an FTI power glide, ATD's FTI transfer case. We got Dave Davies in the outlaw. We got Eleanor Fawcett in the Harry Canary. of high range maybe in the meantime we've got this is a husband and wife team folks husband and wife we got heavy metal jordan and the far lane we got krista in the near lane husband and wife Oh yeah, by a, almost a full a full second, a four nine four eight for Krista, and a five nine 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 for Jordan. Next up, we got Northern Voodoo. We got Marty Ricknagel. We got Alina, his wife, up here on the tower with me. He wants to thank Mark Co Insulating on a Chilliwack, BC. It'll be a solo pass. <laughs> Marty, nice job. A three, nine, two, three. All right, that's Black Widow Charlene Friesen on a Yellowhead County, Alberta. And an 88 second later, she's going against Billy Bob. She's going against Corey. The lady driver, folks, at the Black Widow. Lady driver in the new lane. Out of Alberta, BC Alberta, lady driver. Nice race, nice race. Ford wants to thank, hey, he's got a special thing here. He's sponsored by Burcon Slipform on the Kamloops, my hometown. He wants to say, rest in paradise, Corey, my brother. And thanks everyone for coming out. The Mini Coops Chase Ford will be coming around the corner any second. He's going to go against Toilette. This is Oliver Benneke out of Edson, Alberta. Actually, Yellowhead Courts. 
I know, I know, I go to Alberta, I do the Alberta races sometimes at Edson. A lot of fun. This is Oliver. He works really hard at those races. He's here cutting loose on one of our races. Glad to have you, Ollie. 85 Toyota with a little bit of Chevrolet horsepower under the hood. Now I don't see the Mini Coupes. Oh, here he comes. Hang on, Matt. He's coming. There he is. Chase Ford driving the Mini. This is a 2005, or what's left of a 2005 Mini Cooper. A 2005 Mini Cooper. Kids, are you listening? It's a 2005 Mini Cooper over there, driven by Chase Ford. A guy named Ford driving a Mini with a Chevy motor. He also did a belly flop at Hard Mile House, too. We're green flagged all across the board. There's the light, they're off! Oliver with a 4918. And an 11153 for Chase Ford with the Chevy Power in the Cooper body. Strong gear ratio with the differentials. He's trying high range, which I'm telling you never works. I'm just telling you that. But he'll get her going. In the meantime, we got Twister. We got Sam Antonishka. Telerico Excavating. DMZ Low Bed Services. Off Road Vixens. Commit Motorsports and Tow King Towing are his sponsors in the Orange Twister. With a 550, a big block in there. It's an old S 1990s S15. Going against none other than Beaver Lodge, Alberta. This is Mud Tiger, Trevor Berkland. Got a stroke tail small block 383 Chevy in here. Want to thank Dreamcatcher Designs. And I wish, I don't know if I'm reading that right. I wish I, no, I'm probably reading it wrong. Anyways, out of Beaver Lodge, Alberta, another BC Alberta challenge. Sam and Katie Hale of Hope, British Columbia. In Twister. It actually is pretty muddy out there. A 5805 for Twister and a 6458. A Chevrolet, an 81 Chevy Scottsdale. She should be going against the little red Jeep of Corey. Courtney Stafford. Courtney Hales on the Innisfil, Alberta. See if she comes around the corner here in a moment. Momentarily. In the meantime, Ricky Blackwell's ready to go. Ricky Blackwell is our resident jello shooter girl. More on that tonight, folks. Is it a solo, Matt? There's, there's no, uh... Oh, she's coming? The Staffords, they got that nice-looking blue Toyota. They got this beautiful little Jeep. Nice. Nicely done, the Stafford family. 434, small block Chevy in this thing. So we got a couple of lady drivers, folks. We got a lady driver from BC and a lady driver from Alberta. All right, so that's cool. So both competitors waited for Matt to get it figured out, which is cool. They're both there. They're both staged. They're both ready to go. Ricky in the big old school high clearance large suspension mud racer and this little slick little Jeep with the... The 443, 434 cubic inch small block Chevy under. Ah! Courtney pedaled it a lot. I, I got to think this might be one of her first passes in that machine. A 5, 6, 7, 8 for Courtney. A 7, 2, 7, 3 for Ricky Blackwell. 
You can tell that Jeep's gonna be fast, folks. You can tell. In Earth, he calls that 78 Ford Earth Friendly. On the Innisfail as well, another Alberta boy going against Mark Nicholson in Dad Pod. Wants to thank BF Fab BG Fabrication. He hails out of Grovedale, Alberta. We got two Alberta guys going here, folks. Alberta versus Alberta. I predict an Alberta car will win. Yeah, nicely done. A 4-4-1-1. A 4.411 for Mark Nicholson and Dad Bod. All right, we've got the modified class. These are street vehicles that have been modified. We got the Black Widow. We got Charlene Friesen. She ran earlier. No, this is probably Tyler running now in mod. I'm guessing out of Yellowhead County, Alberta. Going against Bumpy. That's Gerald Stern, the legend. Gerald Stern. Gerald Stern and Bumpy. Oh, that's transmission all the way, folks. That is trans. Watch out, that stuff catches fire. A 5 3 3 2 from the Black Widow for Tyler Friesen. Good job. And a 5 8 4 1 and a bit of transmission issues on a Stony Plain, Alberta. Got a 468 big block Chevy in this thing. Sitting there idling away. Nice sounding idle. Going against Austin Smith. In back and black, he was sponsored by A&J Roofing Limited. Doesn't see where Austin is from here. Oh, he's from Terrace, BC, apparently. He didn't put, he didn't fill his sheet out. Nice looking Chevy K20 over there. Austin Smith on a Terrace, British Columbia. Going against Son of a Diggler, George Mercer on a Stony Plain, Alberta. Couple of Chevys going at it, folks. Oh yeah, Son of a Diggler with a come from behind special, a 5-2-3-2. Two, two. Okay, now we've got Independence again, Ricky Blackwell, that big black Chevy. Going against Red Dragon, Corey Lipchinski, an 88 Suzuki. Corey Hales out of Maple Ridge. They're just listen to the RPM on this Suzuki, folks. If you've ever wondered what 10,000 RPM sounds like, you're about to find out. Corey Lipchinski in the Red Dragon, in the inside lane. In that little Suzuki. Yeah, good race. A 5 6 7 6 for Ricky Blackwell and a 5 9 8 3 for Corey Lipchinski. And a lot of RPM. Let's see what Jordan can do. Again, it's a timed event, but we're looking for the airtime. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. And a 5.577. This is his wife, Krista Humphrey, a ball breaker. This is a fully built race chassis. Does not have a supercharger yet. It's got the nine ton Meritors. If you get a chance to look at this, this is state of the art, these differentials. A lot of guys would use the big rock wells because they're super strong, but they're also super heavy. These are a little scaled down. It's like, like it's called a Meritor. Nine ton capacity, really nice. Well, those times. A five, two, six, four, and some decent air for Krista Humphrey. Now Marty had the big air. 
and hundred mile. Remember, it's a timed event, but he's looking for the air. Away from Graham Hawkins, away from Davey Strell. We are ready for business. Yeah, baby, hear that echo? Awesome. That is so far. I know this is killing Dave Davies, but that is so far the biggest air. Mind you, there's three more rounds of that to go. There's Curtis Rickaby in the redneck Cadillac in the near lane. And that old Chevy Blazer wants to thank John Vernon Grading, Precision Service and Pumps. Going against Alexander Hoop BC Mudslayer, Chris Barge in the 2001 Jeep Cherokee in Street Class. Couple of sixes. Nice job, Curtis Rickaby, a 6155. And the Mudslinger, Chris Barnes, a 6864. This is these are street stock vehicles. I know it doesn't look like it, but these are street stock vehicles, folk. This is the Boneyard, aka Blue Phoenix. That's Robert Russell. Out of Williams Lake, BC. In the uh, 2001 Silverado, it says here. Going against Led to Tour and the Swamp Donkey. He's got the big block Chevy in there. He's also got some tire. I want to thank his girlfriend, Christina, for putting up with his obsession. More like an addiction. He's, uh, yeah, he's got some 44 inch, 44 by 19 Super Swamper boggers on there. Love those tires. A 7004 for Robert Russell in the Boneyard, aka Blue Phoenix. Jess Husings in the White Crow, a Jeep Cherokee. Wants to thank Davies Off Road Racing, 100 Mile Horsepower Ranch, Tri City Mechanical, BFG Fabrication. That's that little white Cherokee coming at you. She was racing in Hope and racing in 100 Mile. Going against. Fought over 50, Wade Uberman in an 87 GMC. Right there, he hails out of, it doesn't say where he hails out of. Wants to thank Northwest Fields, KMB Patrick, or Patrick Trucking, SMP, Lord Co. Racing, Peterbilt out of Houston. He's out of Houston, BC. Or at least his sponsors are, Peterbilt out of Houston. I got a couple of buddies up in Houston, actually, as well as Spithers. My man, Mike Kwan up there. Buddy Chris out of Houston, I've raced up there with these guys. All right, we're ready to go. Little Cherokee, but against the GMC. A 6866 for Wade Uberman and fun over 50. And a 13748, so that little Jess's little uh, white crow is not, was it front end only even? Huh. Okay, I, I just get the story here. She broke it in Hope two weeks ago, but as often is the case, you break a vehicle on your last pass and you don't know it's broken until you show up at the race and make your first pass at the next race, and then you discover that. No, I did not jinx her. Muck and crazy. This is Brianna Winus and both Bobby Russell. This is father daughter. Oh, brother sister. See, AJ, you set me up. AJ told me his father daughter is brother sister. Is that weirder? No. Brianna and Muck and crazy in the far lane. Going against her brother in the boneyard. Apparently there's no water pump in that boneyard, I just heard. A 701 for brother, looks like brother took care of business. A 73 for Brianna. So Bobby beat Brianna that time. 
We got Farm Fresh. Linda Maldaner. She wants to thank Chill and Safety Services, Max Fuel Distributors, Rod Father, Rod Father Compression, KW Mechanical, Jan Cole Streaming, Daniel Harvard Investments, Wilson Skate Sharpening. Going against Wade Maldaner in Big Red. Well, it's Wade Maldaner in Big Red going against Linda Maldaner in the Farm Fresh. Brother, sister, husband, wife? I don't know. I'll find out. But someone named Maldaner is going to win this pass. Nice race on both those drivers. A 6048 for Big Red for Wade Maldaner and a 6483 for Linda Maldaner. They have the same sponsors. Actually, I thought I was wrong this one time. It just turns out I was mistaken. All right, the great machine, Arnold Merrill. Unavailable, my local guy, folks. This is a local, local hero, Arnold. And his 79 Dodge Power Wagon wants to thank Brian Null for all the help. A local racer, folks. Yeah, and he's going to drive that thing home. An 8302 for the local Arnold Merrill of Vilmont, BC. This is Peter Hopkins in the Crazy Ranger. He wants to thank his son, B-Hop, for making it all possible on his help. How often do you see that, folks, where a father thanks his son? His son, B-Hop, it's a nickname of Hopkins. I, I can't even remember what the B stands for. I think it's Brian, but I just started calling him B-Hop years ago as a kid. <laughs> I know his dad calls him B-Hop. He was a junior racer extraordinary. He won the junior class, passed the buggy on to his sister. Now he's got his dad racing in the old Crazy Ranger. B-Hop, he's a legend. This is his dad, Peter Hopkins. Wants to thank his son and Hopkins Roofing for all the help. Now Kira is gonna drive the wheels off this thing, literally. It has a broken transfer case, as they've discovered, as you saw in the last pass. Do they care about that? It appears not. No, they do not care. So let's see what happens. It wasn't fast last time. I don't expect it to get faster this time. A 6381 for Peter Hopkins. Nice job with that Ranger. I'm assuming little Ranger cutting sixes. Not a bad job. And at 12, which is actually faster, a 12602 for White Crow, Kiera. Kira. This is Stephen Waste or Stephen Wetz, Wurtz, pardon me, in a Yamaha Wolverine out of Prince George. He's going against the Polaris Razor Turbo of Austin Smith. Austin Smith in the Razor in the near lane to me. Going against the Ripper, Stephen Wirtz, out of PG. Anyone here down from Prince George? This is your guy. These things should be pretty fast, actually, folks. Look at that Razor, a 5.43. It's just store-bought technology. Those things are so advanced, they are so cool, and they're just, yeah, just go buy one. This is Futterbucker. Don't want to have a few drinks and try it with that one. Now she's gonna, yes, wouldn't it be ironic if she had a wipeout and needed first aid? No, I shouldn't say that. This is Liana and Chris, Liana Davies, the president. Krista Davies runs that uh, ball breaker mega truck with the nine ton Meritors, their sister, sister and sister. This is their mom. She's quite the lady, Stephanie Humphrey. And she's off. So right in the middle of the pack, there was a five second from that Razor, a 10 from the um, Turbo, and an 8557 five, for Stephanie Humphrey.
This will not be a 20 second pass, folks. Abigail White and the Red Ripper. She wants to thank Pioneer Truck and Trader, Lorenzo Walco. And special thanks to Dad, Colin White. She's loading it. She's a drag racer. Uh oh. Right about now, Abigail is super mad at Grandpa. Anyways, this is Leland Davies, Mud Runner. There's supposed to be Emily next. We will get to the bottom of that. Little Polaris Razor. Junior 13. What was Junior 13's time last time? A 902. Let's see, let's see if she could if she could beat if he Leland. If he could beat the 9-0. Oh, seven, eight, nine, oh, nine, one, nine, nine, eleven, six, eight. Let's see if Kinsley can beat the eleven, six, eight for Team Wumba. Nine, ten. A 10 5. Yeah, beat the 11. Oh no, 11 4. Logan. Lady driver out of Grovedale, Alberta. Five years old, folks. Five years. Look at this, she's flying. Five years old. When I was five, I could barely walk. Although I, I did take up smoking. A 12 4 87. We've got little Zuzu and Caitlin Carr. You'll see this Razor doing rounds here, folks. Davies Off-Road Racing, 100-mile horsepower ranch. Tri-City Mechanical. I still see some kids over there. Joe's got lots of giveaways, folks. Go see the la lovely ladies and get yourself a little something-something from the races. Caitlin's off. Oh, it's running good now. It wasn't running that good last time. Oh, Caitlin's loving this. He's loving this. Oh, at 8-5, he's loving that. Now the junior dragster. These guys came all the way from Alberta. The mud racer broke. So they thought, heck, we'll just bring the junior dragster. What the heck? And we said, yeah, good on ya. We're gonna load the car, he's out of here. Yeah, six, seven, one, three, four. Nicely done. You ran a pair of seven, you had seven earlier. It can only mean one thing, it's K-Hop. Kaylee Hopkins. In the farm buggy. Running in here, brother B-Hop's shadow. Oh, look at that, she burned out. Oh yeah, the farm buggy, look at that. See what she did there, seven, two, two, three. All right, we've got Connor Hughes a little zoom zoom. We're ready up here, Matt. We've converted our flag girl into a prize girl. So I hope all you kids over there got a little something, something, and a couple t-shirts, and hope somebody has a baby that's gonna look good in that Northwest Bud Racing Association t-shirt. At 8175 for little Zoom Zoom. Cheyenne, baby. Now she's going down the left side now too. A little bit of fresh real estate over there at 9755. Five. It looks like from Team Wumba, Wesley Vanderbay. And fire tires. Look at him. Look at him not his face. He's like, give me a faster ride, Dad. Man, I'm almost seven, buddy. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, from the Dukes of Hazard. All right, Brookie Strong, what do you got? Get out of here! <laughs> I don't know if you guys caught that. I think Steve lost a couple of fingernails there. 
And if you ever see this machine at night, folks, it's got all the blue LED lighting underneath. It looks super cool. A 9473 for Brookie. This is Avery. Avery Stevens. A little zooms in. That razor is getting a workout today. An eight, six, eight, one, good job. The sen sensation of the day here, four year old, four. I don't even think I could talk when I was four, let alone drive something. From Grovedale, Alberta, Jackson Nicholson in Blackberry, four, he's four years old, folks. I, I might have already said that, but it really actually quite, uh, it's really quite something. Guess how old he is? He's four. He's looking down. Oh, I dropped something. Nope. Okay, Dad, he's, you know, he's coming on five. He's going to need a new ride soon. Four-year-old. He's a 14. 220 for four-year-old Daxon Mickelson. Nice job, buddy. All right, here's Jen Joint. We're into the paddle class now, and remember folks, it didn't run that good last time, although it ran good in B class, so hopefully she can, and sometimes it's just the tire. Sometimes you just, you need the horsepower to turn that, that tire is a heck of a tire. Let's see if she got it running right this time. Jen Joint misunderstood. She wants to thank Stolen Speed Shop, Loose Change Customs, Lurko, Frog Stopper, Don Wiley. Longhorn fencing out of Williams Lake and off-road vixens, and she's out of here. That's a little better. A 5186. Good job. Let's see what Jesse's got, folks. Jack Springer, Nemco Transmissions. Special thanks to owner Glenn Galen Vanderby. Pit crew is Moose Card, Randy Vanderby. Next year, they say 632 cubic inch alcohol injected with nitrous. Today, just a big block Chevy. Just a whole home 454. With a little bit of spray, a little bit of spray as they say. A 4833, see, it's, it's all gears, man. There he comes, Bird Connell. 72 Austin Mini, no, yes. We're looking for a 38 Byron, get that thing running, just get a 38 out of the deal here.
Oh, a two, two, five, five. Another two, two. Nice job by Stevie Strell. Nice job. And let's face it, who wouldn't want to go to the AW drive through in that thing? So it's going to be a solo pass because there's Eric Vanderby. I don't believe he's going to make it this round. Tomorrow's a new day for Eric. A 4 1 8 2. Paul running the 638 cubic inch motor. Austin, not to be outdone, running a 555 cubic inch Pettis race motor. The kid versus the old man. BC versus Alberta. Oh, yeah, he's ready to go. Let's take that, Paul Stafford. Oh, a little spray. Spray all day. All right. In all fairness, folks, we never really saw what Paul Stafford had. This should be good. Let's make this a good one, folks. Side by side, couple of Toyotas. The kid, the old man, BC, Alberta, the drama. We're ready over here, Brandon. We're ready. We're ready. Send them. This is Dougie Jewel, the Jewel Digger. I gotta tell you something about his patina paint job. I'll tell you after, folks. And you can see there's a lot, a lot of chalk work on there. Dougie Jewel in the 49 Chevy. Ian Brewster in the 76 Honda Civic. The Jewel Digger against Civic Duty. Let's have a side by side. Yeah, you see? All right, we got B class. This is the judge, Richard Ketchaside, from Alexis Creek, folks. Alexis Creek. Who the heck besides Richard lives in Alexis Creek? Got the big box Chevy. He's got the spray. All right, we're ready up here. Let's have a good one, Richie. A 3983 with a dirty distributor cap. All right, we've got Jen. Joint and misunderstood. Got the panel tires off. Got the 36s back on. Stone Speed Shop out of Chilliwack, Longhorn Fencing out of Williams Lake, Fortin's Engines. Byron and the Frog Stomper, Off-Road Nixes, Loose Change Customs. And Ivan and Brandon for all the help, pit crew and sponsors, and we've got... Ivan the Horrible. And the Flippin' Crappinator, Mr. Subaru himself. Sponsored by Ivan's Imports, Gilbert's Parts, and Lens Blower Service out of Lumbee, BC. The flippin' crappinator, the misunderstood. Oh, the crappinator had her. Now we got Billy Bob. Out of Vanderhoof. He wants to thank Valley Diesel and PH Free Flight. He's out of Vanderhoof, British Columbia. Probably works at Fraser Lake Mill, guessing. Renee Sergeant, Black and Blue Knights.
she's racing. But her great uncle's ashes were spread here this morning and she's racing. That's pretty cool. She wants to thank Wirecrosser. Toll of the day, Hillbilly Bud Racing, Extreme Machines, and the Albion Trail, Lady Driver. A 5-4-5-2 five, five, for Billy Bob, Corey Gammond. All right, let's see what Renee's got. Oh, nice job by Renee, 5-4-2-3. Little squirrely at the end. Marty Recknagel in Northern Booty. You'll see him again momentarily in the hill and hole. Marty currently has the fastest time and the highest there. Look at the rear steer there, folks. How cool is that? Oh, yeah. Nice job by Marty, a 3980. Oh. It's a long story. Ball breaker with the fully built race tech, the nine ton Meritors going against the rock bouncer. Her husband, Jordan Kieneker. Husband and wife deal. She already beat him once. Come on, guys. For the sake of the male species, we got to get Jordan to win here. Uh, looks like Jordan's cooking dinner. So this is Eleanor Fawcett. She wants to say thank Mudhawk Motorsports, Dry Products, Doug Jewel, Ian Brewster, Colby and Blair. Special thanks to Ken Powers, DMZ Lobin, and James Tellerico. I don't hope BC, the Tellerikian one. Eleanor Fawcett, folks. This is a 76. Kids, it's a 76 Mazda. Seven five. All right, we've got the dad bod, Mark Nicholson, and that eighty six Camaro over there going against Earth Friendly, Devin Campbell. Couple of Alberta boys. Oh, what a great race! A 4468 for Dad Bod, Mark Nichol Nicholson, Nicholson, and Devin Campbell with Earth Friendly with a 4636. Now, this is Jeep, Courtney Stafford, lady driver, folks. A couple of lady drivers here. We got Ricky Blackwell in the 81 Chev Scottsdale. And I know Courtney is just, she's out of Innisfail, Alberta. I know this is a new machine. And she's just feeling her way around. It, she pedaled it about 50 times last time. That's still had a great pass. This thing is going to fly. It's a good looking. And Ricky Blackwell, veteran driver that she is, she's going to lay one down here. And then get the shooter tray. All right, we got two different, different era. We got the low riding 
big horsepower. We got the high riding, heavy clearance, big battleship, leaf springs. We got an old school versus a new school. A couple of lady drivers, BC Alberta Challenge here, folks. We got Courtney in the red jeep. We got Ricky in the black 81 Chevy Scottsdale. And they're off. Well, this is Mud Tiger, Trevor Birkeland out of Beaver Lodge, Alberta, in the black truck there, the old Chevy. Going against Sam Madison, he's got a whole BC in Twister. The shutdown is cleared. We got a BC Alberta challenge here, folks. I knew it. Sam Antonishka. Now we got Toyolette Oliver Beneke out of Ensign, Alberta. Going against Chase Ford in the Chevy powered Mini. Another BC Alberta challenge, folks. If you ever go to a mud race at Edson, the hardest working guy there is Oliver Beneke by a mile. I've gone to those Edson races. Oliver is a hard working mofo. A 7-4. 8-8 eight, eight for Chase Ford. A little better. The thing's still not running 100%. He'll get it, though. He'll get it. We've got the Black Widow, Charlene Friesen, out of Yellowhead County, Alberta. I'm not sure if it's Charlene or Tyler. I believe it's Charlene, and Tyler's in the mod class. I think I got that right. Going against Billy Bob. Out of Vanderhoof, B.C. A uh, 5 2 44. Going against Ricky Blackwell. All right, Ricky Blackwell. Coming at you. A 6559 by Ricky. Nice job. Now here comes Son of a Diggler. On a Stony Plain, Alberta, George Mercer. Now George should be going against Austin Smith in Back in Black. I don't see Austin out there. So I'm guessing solo. Or is he coming? Again, there's his trailer parked right in my line of sight. There's Austin Smith in Back in Black. Sponsored by A&J Roofing, as you can see on the doors. Nice looking 86 K20 Chevy. Cowl induction hood, fresh paint, good looking ride. However, looks don't win races, folks. Let's see what happens here. Well, the looks are looking pretty good for us at a 5 2 2 0 and a 5 3 8 1. Now, just a general starting bump. His transmission was not transmitting very well last time, but he's back in action. Black Widow. Sponsored by Highmark HVAC. Bumpy on a Mission BC, sponsored by. J. Brown Metalwork, Tires Plus, Wirecrosser, TNT Transmission. Wants to thank Donna and Glenda for all the help. Now, he had a lot of transmission smoke and issues last year. Let's see how this thing's holding together. The big Ford Power, bumpy Gerald Stern and the Chevy.
So Black Widow. In heavy metal, let's see what he's got. Nice job by Jordan. This is Arnold Merrill, local guy out of Vailmont in the green machine. Oh, Brandon dropped the key fob. There's a remote key fob to turn those lights on. And green and get out of here. An 8668, very quiet 8668 for Arnold Barrow. This is Linda Baldaner in the Farm Fresh, the brown truck. And Wade Baldator in big red, the Chevy short box. They want to thank Chillin' Safety Services, Max Fuel Distributors, Rod Father, Compression, KW Mechanical, Janko Steaming, Daniel Harbor Distributors, and Wilson Skate Sharpening. I believe it's husband and wife here, folks. We've got Linda in the brown truck. Linda Maldane with a 6508. Her husband Wade with a who really cares. All that Linda cares about is a 6873. I have just learned. Oh, this is a brother sister team, I believe, here. This is Brianna Winus, Muck and Crazy, and the Boneyard Bobby Russell. Brother and sister. Bobby won last time. Oh, looks like Sis is going to have him this time. Oh, is she ever. A 7019. And he's still, he's still going, folks. You know what? You know what, Brianna? You beat him by more than double. Wayne Uberman, that's 87 GMC, sponsored by Northwest Fuels, K&B Patrick Trucking, SMP Lordco Racing, and Peterbilt out of Houston, BC. This is Jess Husing with that Jeep Cherokee, sponsored by Davies Off-Road Racing, 100 Mile Horsepower Ranch, Tri-City Mechanical, and DBFG Fabrication. This Cherokee has been beat to a pulp, but it's still running, so they're still going to run it. Front wheel only. A 7-4-5 for Wade. Now we got the Swamp Donkey Lend to tour in that big 44-inch tire blazer. I believe he's going to go against the Boneyard again, Robert Russell. Here we go. Well, just when you thought you'd seen the last of this truck. Robert Russell hot lapping. I mean, literally hot lapping. Going against the Swamp Donkey. A uh, 6449 for Led to Tour. Now here comes Curtis Rickaby. And that 75 Blazer. Folks, a little known thing about those 75 Blazers is. See how the roof comes off right at the windshield? He's got a little tarp on there, but the roof right at the windshield? They didn't do that for very long, General Motors. It was very unsafe. Guys would roll and die. 
the new generation Blazers and Broncos have the roof come off just behind the, the driver's door window. The things you learn, that is a almost, I wouldn't use the word rare, but that's a, that's a very, not a lot of those left. The old 75 Blazer with the full roof removal. And going against the Mudslinger, Chris Barnes, out of Vanderhoof, BC. A couple guys came down from the hoof today. Nice to see that. It's got a little four-liter six-cylinder with a turbo on there. Want to thank Valley Diesel and Gavin Towing for all the help in that old 01 Jeep Cherokee. And they're off. A 6042 for Curtis, Rick and me in the Redneck Cadillac, and a 74, 79 for Chris and the Mudslinger. All right, Peter Hopkins in the Crazy Ranger. Want to thank B Hop for all the help. Going against Kira and the White Crow. Again, beating the pulp out of this poor machine. It's got front wheel drive only. They will not fix it until it has zero wheel drive, folks. That's what's going to happen here. And because it's a Jeep, it's going to go, yeah, whatever. I'm going to run all weekend anyways. Just really slow. Peter Hopkins with a 7182. Sponsored by Hopkins Group. Oh, the door's open. A 10308. Leanna and Krista's mom. And that's why Andrew's up here on the tower, because he's lost his first aid vehicle, temporarily, of course. And that's Leanna, her daughter. President! Also, it appears that she's doing the starting. It appears. No, oh, there's Brandon. I didn't see Brandon. That's Leanna Davies, folks. Leanna, give a wave. She's the president of this club. Her truck's broken, but she's still doing her presidential stuff anyways. And trust me, it's not an easy job. Good job, Leanna. Good job. You're owning it, buddy. You're owning it. And this is Mom! Mom Humphreys! <laughs> now we've got Austin Smith. He drove the back in black truck as well. He's in here, he's called, it's called his Turbo, XP Turbo Polaris. Nope, pardon me, this is a Yamaha Wolverine, pardon me. That's a Steven Waste, that's Austin in the far lead in the Razor. Austin on a Terrace BC. And Steven on a Prince George BC. There's a couple of Northern boys coming down here. A 5441 for the Razor and a 7551 for the Yamaha Wolverine of Stephen